Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a look at this paper that is really interesting because it takes a very well-known idea from operating systems, namely virtual memory, and applies it to large language models. The problem they're trying to solve is familiar to everyone working with LLMs, and that is their limited context window size. Even though recent models like Claude have pretty large context windows, up to 100,000 tokens, you can always think of use cases that could use even larger context windows. There are a couple of use cases that are currently hampered because of the limited size of context windows. The first one is long-term conversational agents. Imagine you could do chat GPT, but you could just have a continuous ongoing conversation with it instead of these multiple shorter conversations. The problem is that if you had a really long conversation sooner or later, you would go over the size of the context window and it would start forgetting the older parts of your conversation. The authors here are trying to imagine a virtual companion or a personalized assistant that remembers conversations going back months or even years. And it has this long-term history so that you can bring back and talk about things that you had mentioned a very long time ago. This is basically the AI from the movie Her. The other big use case is working with large documents or working with a large number of documents. The technique that the authors are proposing in this paper that they call MemGPT basically allows the illusion of an unlimited context window while using these fixed length context window models underneath them. This is where the analogy with virtual memory comes in. Just like in an operating system, you can use the notion of virtual memory to make it look to your programs as if you had infinite RAM by paging parts of RAM in and out of your secondary memory, which is usually your hard drive. The authors here want to use persistent data storage behind an LLM and then write things to that storage and read things back from that storage when required to make it look like you're chatting with an LLM with an unbounded context window. This is the overall architecture of the system. Now you as the user are not chatting directly with the LLM. There is another orchestration layer between the user and the LLM. The input to the core LLM is mediated by an input parser which can take inputs like actual messages from users or documents that the user uploads or internal orchestration messages. And the output is again consumed by an output parser, which can decide to either output a message to the user or do other system tasks like read from memory or write to memory, where memory is this longer term persistent storage. And the net effect of this architecture is that this LLM processor is deciding the things that it needs to either save to external memory or read in from external memory to best accomplish the tasks that the user is giving it or the questions that the user is asking. Let's look at some examples from the paper to make this a bit more concrete. Here's an example where when the user mentions a fact about themselves, MemGPT emits an internal system message to append that fact to its persistent storage. Here's another example where when you're running up against the maximum size of the context window, in other words, memory pressure in the virtual memory analogy. The LLM is given a system warning to save any important information from the prior conversation. And that prompts it to 
again append key points from the conversation up until now to its persistent storage. That was the right path where the LLM is remembering things for the long term. And on the read path, it does something similar where it recalls things from that persistent storage based on the conversation that's happening and brings it back into the current conversation. Now you might wonder how this is different from standard retrieval augmented generation or RAG. One of the problems with RAG is the dependence on the quality of the retriever, which is usually some sort of embedding search. If the retriever doesn't find the right relevant documents, then that information will never make it into the context window. But the way MemGPT works with its internal system messages and iteration over them, it can actually make multiple calls to the retriever and go deeper into its storage. And it can effectively iterate through these search results until it finds good results. So how is all this orchestration and reading and writing from storage actually happening? And the answer is you prompt the LLM along with descriptions of the functions that it should use to carry out these tasks. They've published their code to GitHub and what I have on the screen here is their main system prompt. So you can see how they've described how control flow is supposed to work. This is a pretty long and detailed prompt. It mentions how the LLM can invoke and chain function calls and how it should interpret and use all these internal system messages. And send message is the only action that sends messages to the user. Otherwise, everything else, all this internal chatter about reading and writing from storage is hidden from the user. And the rest of the prompt goes on to describe the various functions that the LLM can use. You can search memory using the conversation search function. You can append using this function. You can replace existing things in memory and so on. And this is then paired with what looks like the function calling mechanism in GPT, where you tell the LLM the names of the functions, the arguments of the functions, and the descriptions. And the LLM is then able to tell you when and if to invoke those functions as it goes through its conversation. What kind of results did they get? Here you see a comparison of multi-document question answering across just plain GPT 3.5 and 4 versus MemGPT. And you can see how MemGPT is able to maintain its accuracy as the number of documents grows and it beats out just plain GPT. Also note that in the comparison with RAG, it's somewhat orthogonal because they abstract over the concrete retrieval mechanism. You could swap out different retriever mechanisms and this MemGPT pattern of paging data in and out from persistence would still work. So that was a quick look at how you can take the idea of virtual memory, apply it to LLMs to make it look as though they have unbounded context windows. And this unlocks some really interesting use cases like really long conversations that span long periods of time or document Q&A over very large corpora. They've also published their code on GitHub so you can play around with it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing, like the video, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.